out here in Lake Cowichan doing a massive cleaning in the van, pulling everything out. And the big air raid tsunami alarm goes off. Totally freaking awesome. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are in Lake Cowichan, BC. And that's my little coffee shop I go to all the time, Tim Hortons. Yeah, I walked across the street from my house and had coffee this morning. I slept right there. <laughs> How convenient. Woke up, had a stretch, walked across the street, Boom, Tim Hortons, now I'm gonna walk back home over there. All right, so my question to all of you is, could you tell that I'm sleeping in that thing? Let's take a look at this truck that's been parked here, well, overnight. All right, have a look. Look at his windows. Oh, is somebody sleeping in that? <laughs> I hope not, because that's pretty freaking small. And now let's look at mine. Huh, actually, if you look at it, I got less on my windows than he does. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho -ho! this is gonna be a good start to a day. That looks freaking amazing. Anyway, it is super freaking cold. The temperature outside is, I don't know, I checked it. It's like three degrees Celsius and it's supposed to drop down to like minus one tonight. Some massive wind chills coming through here. It's like, whoo, I woke up this morning, my like, burr. But that's the price we pay here for super, super nice blue skies. Because as soon as we get blue skies this time of year, it's always freaking cold. Anyway, we're leaving Lake Cowichan this morning, and we're gonna head into Duncan, BC, which is like 20 minutes away. Let's go. a little pit stop we're at the laundromat in Duncan BC ah, let's go do some laundry oh this is so exciting I couldn't fight the urge today. Oh, and I tried. We drove from Lake Cowichan this morning, like 20 minutes. We went, stopped in Duncan, did our laundry, bounced out of town, just got here to Crofton, BC. The whole area here in the, in the Cowichan area, amazing. Especially down like here in the, in the North Cowichan, all the farmlands, it's just so spectacular. What a freaking amazing drive. But we are not staying in Crofton today, we are Jumping on a ferry, that's right, off one boat, cruise around for a couple of days, boom, on another boat, boom, off Vancouver Island. Oh, don't worry, we'll be back. We're going over to that island over there. That's called Salt Spring Island. I figured we'd go spend a couple of days over there, come back here, because we're doing a meetup in Nanaimo on Remembrance Day. Remembrance Day, sorry, I just said that wrong. November 11th. I was gonna do it on another day, but November 11th just kind of worked. And hey, man, what? We're all out celebrating freedom, and we got all those guys to thank for that. <sighs> okay, let's go to Salt Spring Island. Sitting out my backpack in my bags, hoping that someone calls me back. Planning my <laughs> And I would wish that someone asked me to stay because I'm getting tired of walking away. My only destination is hope, and I'm missing home. And I love the adventures that I have. I don't know about all of you, but this is pretty damn exciting. Come back, 
a warm house of friends to tell them my story. Yes, I really like someone to call me back next time I pack my bag. <laughs> just get that giddiness, that total excitement. <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing sometimes when I when I get this excited. It's hard to like express it without looking like a freaking fool. <laughs> like that little kid when you want to do that little dance, you gross. <laughs> I'm freaking pumped up. People don't like it when I put my face in the camera. So many people are like, don't do that. Why not? try filming on my selfie side of my camera for a little bit maybe my microphone's not acting up because that last clip I recorded was pretty pretty good I don't like vlogging on the other side because I can't see the screen and everybody else can think about that I'm walking into crowds and they can see the screen because I'm looking in the other side so they can see me going <laughs> all right so we're gonna hit the grocery store here. I just recently discovered that hash browns, frozen hash browns, are the freaking bomb. So thank you to Gus in a bus, um, a guy who lives in a bus in Vancouver that's now in, I don't know where he is. He's in, uh, last time I checked, he's in Venice Beach. Yeah, I used to always see in his videos, if you guys try and find him, search up Gus in a bus. Um, I always seen in his videos, he was buying hash browns and I was like, huh. Well, looks like a good idea, and damn, it was. Um, damn, that girl in there was super freaking cute. So, <laughs> I got sausage, Bananas, um, hash browns, Ugh. really expensive ice. You see the price on that ice? Four freaking dollars for a bag of ice. Welcome to small town life. I find smaller towns are more expensive than bigger towns. Groceries are ridiculous out here. Check out this bun, it's got a face on it. <laughs> it's like, it's got jalapeno eyes and a jalapeno nose. Jalapeno! I'm gonna call you Jalapeno. Bye bye, Jalapeno. Nice knowing you. Mm. Oh, yeah. just so freaking thankful that all of you watch me every day I've made this cut like four times and every time I start turning on my camera vroom goes by another car on a moment when I'm trying to I'm trying to make this like sentimental you know with that sappy lovey dovey music ah screw it peace out guys thanks for watching today's video and one thing 
You got one chance at life. Take it. We out. Peace.